Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a full face using Wet n Wild products. Now there are a few products that I don't have by Wet n Wild, such as a face primer, a concealer, and like a setting spray. I'm gonna be using other ones I have, but for the most part, this is all Wet n Wild products. They are one of my favorite drugstore makeup companies, so I'm really excited to do this video. And I have a lot to get into, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Started. So I am using a primer. This is not wet and wild. This is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Blur Cream and I love this primer. I use it all the time. I also don't have too many tools from Wet n Wild. I do have a few brushes that I'm gonna be using, but this sponge is actually from Shop Miss A. But I do have a Wet n Wild foundation. This is the Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Ivory. And I have used this before, but I'm still not that familiar with it. So this is what the one with the spatula, and I just kind of go ahead and straight up apply this all over my face. Oh, well, that's probably not that sanitary, but oh well. When I bought this foundation, it was like a perfect match for me, but I actually must be a little bit tan because it is just a tad Pale. But I do really like the undertones in this foundation. I feel like they did have quite a few good color options. I'm gonna go ahead and go in for a second layer. This is the Mega Cushion Contour, and this came out a little while ago, and I actually really do like this product. This is what it looks like here. The only thing is, it's just a tad bit warm for my skin to be used as like a contour. I really use this as like kind of a liquid bronzer, and I'm taking this on the Real Techniques sculpting brush, and I just kind of buff it in my skin. Oh, and I don't know if this product has other shades, but this is in Cafe Au Slay. <laughs> Probably should have done this step first, but this is my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. I am also going to use a liquid highlighter. This is the Mega Cushion Highlight in Who's That Pearl. Again, looks like this, and it is a really pretty light pink highlight shade. And I take this right on my finger, and I tap it right along my cheekbone. All right, this is a new product to me. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in Warm Light. It looks really pretty, but I'm just a little bit nervous because I've never used it before. On a super fluffy Eco Tools face brush, I'm going to go ahead and try to set everything. Oh, that is actually really pretty. I just did it on this under eye here and it kind of like blurred everything. I feel like my skin looks so good. I didn't think it would look this nice. I am gonna go in now with the Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dolce De Leche, and I've never used this before either. I don't think I'm gonna use the highlighting powder. I don't know, it is like a matte highlighting powder, and I did swatch it before, and it is super, super powdery. I don't know if you can see that but I don't want it to like cake up on my face or anything. Although it does look like a nice color. Anyways, 
I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild brush and the contouring powder. I'm just going to pick up a little bit because I'm a little scared. I don't know how this is. Ooh, yep, that is pigmented. I'm trying to have like a super light hand with this, but the powder is so pigmented. And this brush is just a little too flimsy to like really blend it out. I'm going to go back in with my face brush. Okay, super contoured. That is okay though. Be careful with this stuff. This is no joke, but I do like it. It is a really nice texture, very like silky. I'm going in with one of my favorite blushes and this is the Ombre Blush in the Princess Daiquiris. And this is just a gorgeous like baby peach color. This blush just makes me feel so pretty. I just love it. Now, I have like a really small face, so I don't know if like this is typically where people apply blush. I had the hardest time like with finding where blush goes on my face, and I finally think I found it. Just kind of goes everywhere. I think it looks good, and I think you can actually like see the blush on my face. I don't know, am I overdoing it? You guys tell me. Ugh. I am absolutely horrible about cleaning my makeup brushes. I like keep going off on tangents in this get ready with me. So I'm gonna shut up now and go in with my highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild. Obviously it's Wet n Wild. This is a full face Wet n Wild tutorial. Thank you. This is the highlighter in I'll Have a Cosmo and it is that gorgeous light pink color that kind of matches the liquid highlighter we used. And I really love this highlighter as well. It is so pretty. It is super reflective. I mean, a little bit goes a long way, but I'm just gonna pile it on here. I've really been liking highlighting the bridge of my nose lately. Yes, girl. Oh no, I completely forgot that I wanted to use this Unicorn Glow highlighting brush. This is so pretty. Anyways, a lot of these products are in a haul that I'm gonna post before this video. So if you haven't seen the haul, go check it out because I'm sure there are some products that I'm not using in that video. I'm gonna do my eyebrows with the Color Icon Brow Pencil. This is in Brunettes Do It Better. Honestly, I don't really like this brow pencil. It's a little too creamy for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to make it work. It does have a spoolie on this end, which I love. Should probably zoom you guys in for this. I think I'm just gonna do one brow on camera. Um, I need a mirror for this. As you can see, it's not the smoothest application. This pencil is definitely way too creamy. like you have to blend it in everywhere you lay it down. With and seek. It actually like doesn't look bad I feel but it doesn't really set like if I were to go like that like my eyebrow would rub off. Moving on to the eyes part of me wants to go crazy but I don't want to ruin what we have going on here so I think I'm gonna kind of keep it simple and I'm gonna throw it back and use some colors out of the Wet n Wild Greed and Lust palettes. Honestly, I don't even know if you can find these anymore. I am starting out with this Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. I do really like the little applicator. Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? I just effed up my eyebrow. The primer messed up my under eye a little bit and then I just like took off my eyebrow. Okay, starting with this really fluffy brush, I'm gonna go into this matte peachy color here. That 
is a really gorgeous peachy shade. I'm taking this fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go in with this really light beige kind of sparkly shade. Wow. That is so pigmented. I've had these like little eyeshadow palettes forever and I just don't really use them, but they're actually really good. I am actually gonna go in with the Vanity palette now. I think I'm just gonna use a mix of these two colors and just run that along my lower lash line. I'm just gonna keep it on the outer third, really. I am gonna go ahead and try to do some Slade Wing Eyeliner. I am really bad at eyeliner. This Wet n Wild one I have is kind of dried up, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with like a fixing spray. I actually have this teeny tiny eyeliner brush from Wet n Wild, which looks like it would be really perfect for what I'm trying to do. Okay guys, I like really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to get the other side to match. Oh God, I am far from slaying the eyeliner, um, but I tried really hard. I did go over the gel liner with the Mega Liner Liquid Liner in black, and I think that helped a little bit. So now I'm actually using a new mascara. This is the Lash Renegade and I've never tried this. This is in the color Raisin Black, which I think that's kind of cute that they gave it like an actual name. Okay, so here is the mascara. I am living for this packaging. And here is the mascara wand. It does feel like kind of a drier mascara, which I actually really like because then my lashes don't get all like clumped up. I think it looks good on the bottom lashes too. And I'm not gonna put on a second coat because I am gonna put on lashes. The lashes I got were on sale. These are the In The Mood For Mod lashes. They did come with their own lash glue. I guess I will go ahead and test that out also. Uh-oh. The lash glue's not working out so well. It's like so weird. It like is rolling off the lashes. I just like accidentally ripped a little chunk off one of the lashes. Okay. Okay guys, so I finally got the lashes on. They are actually kind of difficult to work with and they don't exactly like lay right. I do think they look kind of cool, but they're just like not that comfortable either. Uh, I don't really know if it like goes with the look. I'm gonna go for kind of a peachy nude lip. I just got these gel lip liners and this one is Think Flamingos. This goes on really smooth. This bittersweet heat is suffocating It does make it easy to overdraw, so that's nice. They do feel a little slippery, so I'm not sure what their lasting power is like. And I'm gonna go over top of it with the Liquid Catsuit in Nudist Peach. Okay guys, so this is the finished look using all Wet n Wild products. Overall, I really love Wet n Wild products. I don't know, this was fun. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click the subscribe button down below if you wanna see more of my videos in the future. And of course, if you guys have any comments or requests or questions, you can leave those down below in the comments section. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. My air conditioning is on. Um, This is the, what is this? I don't know if you guys can hear my dog snoring. Oh my gosh. Look. <clears throat> Ew.